Hello YouTubers, shooters, reloaders, Flyer 556 coming to you tonight. I just want to get a little piece of information out there to do my part in helping spread the word about the safety recall that Hodgson is putting out on um, IMR 4007 SSC powder. I say Hodgson because Hodgson acquired IMR powder in October of 03 and they're actually the ones that are putting this recall out. Um, a friend of mine forwarded me an email about this and Chris Hodgson was the contact for any questions or comments about this recall. Um, anyhow, I'm going to make this short and simple. I'm simply going to read this. I dug a little bit further into the email to get to this. Um, and this is what I want to read you guys just to get the information out there to help let any of you reloaders um, stay safe out there and, and make you aware about this if you didn't know and you happen to use this powder. Um, so here we go. Um, IMR. I'll zoom in so I can read it along, which is... Okay, that looks pretty good. IMR, Legendary Powders, Product Safety Warning and Recall Notice for IMR 4007 SSC Powder. Shawnee, KS, September 2nd, 2015. IMR Legendary Powders is officially announcing a product safety warning and recall notice for IMR 4007 SSC on the six lot numbers listed below. IMR has received reports that this particular powder in one and eight pound containers may have become unstable due to possible rapid deterioration. Use of this product from these lot numbers shown on the enclosed label may result in spontaneous combustion, fire, damage, or possible serious injury. Now as reloaders, we all know if you open a powder container and it has a, a rotten egg smell or a gas type smell, like a bad smell to it, odds are it's no good. It went bad. And um, that's what they're saying happened with this stuff. But anyway... These are the lot numbers. I'm going to move down a little bit now so you guys can write these down. If you do happen to use this 4007 SSC, check your lot number. It's located right here on the back of the can in the fine print. It's in black print inside of the red print there. Um, and match that up with these numbers on the screen. I'm not going to read them. I'll just give you guys a minute to write them down. Um, then I'll continue reading and that'll be that. I just want to do my part in spreading the word, getting this information out there to help any of you guys, and uh, hopefully keep everybody safe. Um, if you know anybody that uses this powder, please share the video and spread the word to help um, keep them safe as well. Okay, you got one, two, three, four, five, six lot numbers. So hopefully you guys wrote that down by now. I'm going to move down. There's a little bit more I'm going to read, and that's it. Keep it simple. What to do? Let me see if I can get all this in here. Yeah, I think I can. Okay. Now, if you see that you have one of these lot numbers, here's what to do. Number one, stop using the product immediately. Fill the powder container with water, which will render the product inert and safe for disposal. Number two, mail or email or fax a copy of the powder label showing the lot number to the contract contact information below to include your name, address, phone number, and email. Replacement choice of any uh, other IMR smokeless powder product will be shipped to you for no charge. If you have loaded the powder subject to this recall into ammunition, we recommend that you pull the bullets, remove the powder, and wet the powder with water for safe disposal. IMR deeply regrets any inconvenience this may cause, but we believe in safety first. Contact information is IMR Powder Company, which is 6430-6430 Vista VISTA Drive, Shawnee, Kansas, 66218. Email would be help at imrpowder.com. imrpowder.com or call 1-800-622-4366 or 
913-362-9455. And if you want a fax, the fax number would be 913-362-9455. 1307. Now, on the actual email that was forwarded to me from my friend, the contact was actually Chris Hodgden of the Hodgden Powder Company. Um, but this is what they're saying to do from IMR, and um, I would just go with this. Anyhow, just wanted to get the information out there to help to try to keep everybody safe that does this type of thing and um, spread the word because it is relatively new information. I haven't seen anything about it on the internet. And um, I just figured I'd do my part, like I said, and help and try and spread the word. If you know anybody that you think might be using this stuff, share the video with them. Let them get a look at it. And um, that's it. That's it for this one, guys. Please remember, like, subscribe, share, and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Flyer 556, I'm out.